Cher is a legend, no doubt. And over the years, her personal life became a separate story. Now, this may come as a shock to you, but back in the 80s, the iconic star dated none other than Tom Cruise. Yes, we'll give you a second. You're not feeling great about this, right? You're feeling a little nervous. No, I don't like these things. In today's video, we'll tell you all about this unbelievable romance, including how Tom was a completely different person. Well, he must have been. How else would he get on Cher's top five lovers list? Tom Cruise and Cher are two of Hollywood's most iconic stars. Back in the mid to late 1980s, Tom Cruise was making a name for himself as one of Hollywood's leading men, with roles in films like Top Gun, Legend, and Risky Business. Meanwhile, Cher had already been a massive star for two decades. Now my mother said, Cher, when you get older, I wish you'd hurry and get older so that you would settle down and marry a rich man. And I said, Mom, I am a rich man. She first found fame as part of the pop duo Sonny and Cher with her ex-husband, Sonny Bono, and then became a successful solo artist, TV presenter, and actor. In the summer of 1985, Cher was just a few years away from winning an Academy Award for Moonstruck. During this period, the two first crossed paths at a star-studded event. According to the Los Angeles Times, the future couple met at the wedding of another singer-actor coupling, Madonna and Sean Penn. Although Cher and Cruz didn't immediately start dating upon their first meeting, they too enjoyed a brief love affair. The next time they met, it was an inherently more personal circumstance. The future couple crossed paths due to a common disability. As Cher told the Daily Mail, she and Cruz were invited to the White House in late 1985. What was the occasion? Both stars were recipients of the Outstanding Learning Disabled Achiever Award. As it turns out, both Cher and Cruz have dyslexia. And though they didn't begin dating until later, Cher admitted a connection between them at the White House event. A bunch of people who were dyslexic were invited to the White House and Tom and I are both dyslexic, Cher explained decades later. We didn't go out till way later, but there definitely was a connection there, she continued. Cruz and Cher might seem like the unlikeliest celebrity couple, but it makes sense that part of their story together involved their personal experience with dyslexia. After all, they are far from the only celebrities who have openly discussed their experiences with dyslexia. But their shared recognition for overcoming it makes for a powerful icebreaker. Cher first revealed she had dated Cruz during a May 2008 interview with Oprah Winfrey. The megastar told Oprah that she and Cruz shared more than a one-night stand, revealing they had a long date, adding, I lived in his apartment. She talked of him fondly, the way you might remember your sweet high school boyfriend. She even said he was a little traumatized by the bullying he faced as a student. But overall, it seems that there was an innocence to Cher's rendezvous with Cruz that endeared him to her forever. Truth be told, it's a little hard to imagine the man Cher dated. Where 1980's Tom Cruise was said he'd been bullied, 2022's Tom Cruise is the most important member of a church that allegedly ranks people according to class, treats them accordingly, and forces those who misbehave to do literal dirty work as punishment. If you've seen a Tom Cruise interview, there's a certain fanaticism to him. It seems like it would make it hard to be in a serious one-on-one -on -one relationship with the guy if you held any opinions counter to his. And Cher's known for speaking her mind. However, Cher did make a point of telling Oprah that she only knew Tom in a certain way, which could mean that she knew Cruise before he was a couch-jumping Scientology devotee, or that they had a true bond and made sweet, sweet love together. Anyway, we're glad Cruz was a good boyfriend to Cher for a hot minute. Long after they broke up, Cher gushed over Tom, saying, I was so crazy about him. He was so wonderful. And he was so, like, different. He was a shy boy. He didn't have any money. Everyone's saying, what do you want? What do you want? You know, I, I don't, I don't know. I've she later added that they might have enjoyed a great big romance had their busy schedules not kept them apart. During a 2013 appearance on Watch What Happens Live, while playing a totally not invented game called Truth or Share, Cohen asked where Cruz fell on her list of best lovers. I've had just the greatest lovers ever. How, where, did, where, did, where did Tom Cruise rank on that list? Well, he was in the top five. Really? Top five, and that's a list. Yeah, well, that's yeah. a list. Cher's a straight shooter, a teller of truths. Anyone who's had the privilege of reading her Twitter feed can confirm this. So, assuming that Cher would never lie to us, we must accept this as truth, too. It was pretty hot and heavy for a little minute. 
she told Andy in an additional feature from the episode. The person that I knew was a great, lovable guy. Fans of both Cruz and Cher might be shocked to learn that they were romantically involved at all. Considering how famous the two stars are now, it's wild that their relationship never really came to light until the late 2000s. But, of course, it was easier to keep celebrity romances on the DL without social media and camera phones. Considering the media spectacle that was Cruz and Katie Holmes' whirlwind romance, Cher herself seemed a bit confused by how differently the Top Gun star approached their own relationship. In 2008, she told Entertainment Tonight that it was a long time ago, and neither one of them ever talked about it, and she doesn't know why. When they were together, he was such a private person. He didn't mention it, and she didn't say it. I loved him, though. He was amazing. Now it's hard for me to look at this person in this press. How many times can I watch him jumping up and down on Oprah's couch? By the sounds of it, the star's relationship appears to have been much more serious than the rumor mill had initially been let on, according to Cher herself. In an interview with Oprah Winfrey, the singer revealed she and Cruz even lived together for a brief period. That being said, they couldn't have been together for more than a few months. It turns out their breakup happened because of scheduling. Cher told E.T. that they split simply due to not being able to spend time together. It was after risky business and right before the color of money. I couldn't go to Chicago and that was kind of the straw that broke the camel's back, she explained. The color of money began shooting in Chicago in January 1986. Cruz and Cher's White House rendezvous had happened in October 1985. Things ended amicably between the two, and they even shared a sweet on-camera reunion at the Love Rocks concert on Valentine's Day in 2002. Had they remained together, it seems there would have been more than busy shooting schedules standing between them. I don't get what he does, that whole Scientology thing, she said once in an interview. And when the star shared the news about her future autobiography in 2018, reportedly Tom wasn't stoked. She revealed on Twitter that she was working on her new memoir, saying, Writing life story, book due out first part of 2020, bio pick to follow. Might we say at 75, she's a prolific tweeter, with even her most mundane updates, such as have to take a shower, garnering 17,000 likes. Apparently, when Tom Cruise heard that Cher would be writing a tell-all book, he became a little worried. Believe it or not, this shy boy didn't feel good about the whole reveal. A source on the set of Tom's Top Gun 2 told Daily Mirror that the actor wasn't exactly jumping on the couch over Cher's new memoir. Everyone knew he wasn't happy, the source said, adding, It seemed like a bit of a touchy subject. While Tom Cruise may not be thrilled about the yet-to-be-released Cher's memoir, we are waiting with anticipation for all the secrets that the star may end up spilling. Shortly after splitting from Cher, Cruise wed actor Mimi Rogers. Their marriage was brief, and he married second wife Nicole Kidman in 1990, the same year his divorce was finalized. Kidman and Cruise, who shared two adult children, split early in the new millennium. He and Katie Holmes welcomed their daughter in 2006 and wed eight months later. They announced their divorce in the summer of 2012. Laura Prepon was rumored to be dating Cruz in 2014, but she swiftly shut down the speculation and wed another man four years later. It's pretty cool to be linked to Tom. He's amazing. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know where this stuff comes from. I really don't. In 2021, she also revealed that she was no longer practicing Scientology. So yeah, not a suitable match, we presume. While working together on Mission Impossible 7, Haley Atwell and Tom were rumored to be a thing, but never addressed the claims. Following her breakup with Cruz, Cher dated aspiring actor Rob Camaletti, Richie Sambora, producer and writer Ron Zimmerman, and Tim Medvitz. These days, Cher is single and admits that she finds it hard to date. Unfortunately, with today's press and digging and, you know, all that, it, it, it really ruins relationship, especially mine. The problem I have with all the boyfriends lately is that I don't want to go anyplace with them because you can't keep a relationship going in this kind of goldfish bowl, where everything you do and every picture you have taken will be on Instagram. There's no way to keep something special. I'm still on the lookout, she teases. That's all we have for you today, juicers. As always, thanks for choosing us. Spread the word and don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell for more celebrity stories. And we'll be right back. Be well and be kind.